Welcome again, my appreciated Blenderhead colleagues. Today, I bring an interesting add-on. An add-on to work in a team project with Blender in a local network in the purest style of Google Documents. The add-on's name is Mixer. This add-on is being developed by Ubisoft, and they are releasing it freely. Even though the add-on is still in beta, and thus it's expected that it will suffer changes later on, it can be tested already. It's already in a good enough level to try it out. To get this add-on, what you need to do is to direct yourself, first of all, to this web page. Because in this web page, the source code can be downloaded. Besides some instructions and information about this add-on's functionality. But let's suppose that you are like me, and you don't know how to compile your add-ons we can go to this location, this link, right in the repositories section. And what this will do is take us to gitlab.com, where it will show us the other versions of the program. And here we have different options. All of these options are still the source code, but this one here, this one is the one we want because this is the one version that is already compiled for the people like us. Download this version and let's do the common procedure to install the add-on in Blender. You know, go to Edit, Preferences, it pops this window out and in Add-on it'll show us the add-on we have installed. I have it already installed, but uh, to install it, you know, press this button and search the folder where you downloaded the file and install it. Then, lots of options to configure will appear, but for me, it's better to keep it as is. Really, there is not much to change, except maybe the username and host. To specify a host in each case depending if there are different groups to work with. Besides, that it can be left as it is. How does this work? Let's suppose we have two computers. Since at this moment I can't show it like in the real way, we'll pretend that each window is a different computer. When the add-on is activated, a thumbnail will appear here in the 3D view. This thumbnail will give us the option to connect each computer. Connect both computers. I'll name it Ordinador 1. And this one will be Ordinador 2. At the moment, we are not connected yet, because on top of having to connect with a local host, we have to create a room too. We press create room and immediately it's going to create a room. Whoever created it automatically will be in the room, but the other user will have to activate this option. Then we'll see that a viewer really similar to the camera has appeared, named Ordinador2, indicating that we have this user connected with us. We see its position in the 3D view.
that's what the visor indicates and also indicates what it has selected in the zine. We move to see if this one is activated, connected. It didn't connect correctly. I'll delete the cube. Let's go and add a monkey. We see that ready now, in fact, the ordinator one has updated. It also can be seen that there is a little bit of problems with the updates. They take some time, but it's still in beta. Now, what can we do? It's here where you'll notice that it works a lot like Google Documents. Let's close for a bit at the sidebar and we'll do some changes to the monkey. Let's add an extrusion. Let's say that, uh, I don't know, we pull a horn in one side with an extrusion. Scale, extrude, scale again, and we position it. Right now, we don't see it being updated because those are done in object mode, at least in what this beta is concerned. Maybe later the interactivity will improve depending on the progress that this add-on has. We can also add a, let's say, animation. Let's do something really simple. Move it some blocks forward. And in fact, we see that this is being updated interactively. And even if I change the keyframe in the timeline on one side or the other, it gets updated for both. And of course, if I hit play animation in one, it's also done in the other. This is very interesting. Another thing is that if we go and add a material, the material will also update. But for what I have seen, it takes some time to update. In this case, is doing it instantly. That didn't happen before, but uh, this is very good. Some things uh, that we want to be able to update are the modifiers. We can see that over here we have none. Let's uh, select the monkey there. You see, they have a not being updated. We'll have to add them manually. But, well, that's a nitpick, it's not important. And we'll... Um, we can be working in one thing, even we can add another object, let's say a donut. Um, while one is working in one of the objects, the other can work in another immediately and all this can be done in a way very similar, as I said before, to Google Documents. This is an add-on that I think is really good to work with teammates and it's very probable that in the future this add-on will be able to work remotely through a host that is not local in an external network. But for the time being this works really well 
and can be perfect to do a really more efficient work. And that was the major add-on. For me, that is all. The only thing that is still missing is to remind you to subscribe to the channel, to turn on the bell, and hit that like button. Being that said, I'll close as always. I'm Salvador Garcia Luque, and I hope you like this video that you find it useful and that inspires you to go on working with our favorite 3D program. See you in the next video. See you later.